All right, here we're at, we're at the Strandview again, and uh, we live on the coast. So we have, it's not a hurricane, it's a tropical depression at this point. At some point in time, they're predicting it could become a hurricane. Well, unfortunately, with all the close calls you get, and then we had Ian actually hit directly here, we're being a little extra precautious. So this morning, Ivan, what'd you do, what, what did they tell you you had to do today? Well, I brought the machine over and um, start picking up that debris that we have on the side of the building. So basically what we've been doing here is we're stripping these units out. We're getting all this construction debris away from the concrete. Okay, and what he's loading up right now is a combination of mattresses and furniture and stuff that's from the, um, the drywall, the cabinets, the mirrors, all that stuff. So it's... Are, are you able to take this to the C&D dump or do you yes. have to take it to? Yes. So they're, they're, they'll put up with it. Yeah, yeah. We're a big volume for them, so yes. they would rather pay us and they'll separate it. Yes, sir. So what they'll have to do, though, is they'll have to separate out and take the mattresses and all that stuff, and they'll take it to another dump. Or they'll ignore it and they'll just do whatever they're going to do. So, um, so this is a 65-yard dump trailer. This thing lifts all the way up on its rear wheels. He already filled it up once. He's filling it up a second time. Let's go over here and look and see what left is left of the pile. So what's going on is we don't know if it's gonna get close and 50 mile per hour winds could make this stuff be all over the street and we're trying to be a good neighbor. We don't want them to have a huge mess to clean up down here and we don't wanna come down and clean up a huge mess. So, so what we're doing is this pile, which has been taken out of these units, we stripped these units all the way back to, to just the CMU block, the concrete masonry unit block. So what he's doing is he's taking all this that we were um, piling up and then we we're gonna start running this and we're running it today instead of running it like next week or whatever. So we had to come, up, come here and what we're doing, this is storm preparation. When he's done, whatever's left, what are you gonna do with the machine? I'm gonna set the bucket on top of whatever debris we have left and um it's not going to go anywhere. So what he'll do is he'll set the he'll set the undercarriage on part of it and the bucket on the rest of it and just try to keep it staying put. We don't know how much of it's going to fly around. It's already we already got 15 to 20 mile per hour gusts right now, and that storm is really really far away from us. So at any rate, you just um, watch him. Is basically what he's going to do is he's picking up this debris, shaking it to try to get the dust down. Then he puts it over here in the truck and drops it into the truck and he keeps doing that and trying to keep the dust contained in one area. And uh, when he's done today, he'll, I don't know if we have time to run another buck, another load they down close. there. I they don't know close. what time they close. Okay, honestly. so what's gonna end up happening is he's gonna load this, he's gonna tarp it, he's gonna put that on top of that and then, and then on Monday, he'll move the machine to our next job. This machine was only moved here today just to get this done. So all right. Yes, sir. Ivan, Remove It Pros. He's our truck driver. He operates the uh, this 323, and uh, he's good people, and uh, we appreciate him. So it's Remove It Pros demolition, and uh, this is us getting ready for a storm.